Good evening once again welcome to parenting conundrums by Faith Mutegi. Um as I continue crafting I get different perspectives or different ideas and I would just like to share them with you because uh, that's one one of the main reasons why I started this channel. So there are a variety of things it should be short and brief. Um I have learned over the years but most especially this year when it comes to buying scissors scissors this chip is expensive so this was uh for 50 shillings but they they are they get blunt very fast but it's best if you buy this for the little ones and then medium sized or even large ones depending on the scissor capabilities of your children so for me what i've learned is cheap is expensive so this even though it was i believe this was 50 50 shillings so i could buy more, uh, plenty or more of them but when it comes to usage the child will come saying teacher teacher or auntie auntie uh this is not working or oh, it's bland haikati so for me i've decided that this is no longer uh, an option for me and i've recently bought this they should be approximately 70 70 shillings uh 80 shillings it depends where you go I bought this uh, in the famous Dubois, or what we famously know as Dubois Road. Uh, there's a stationery shop called Capricorn. Uh, so this is best. Uh, it's just telling them the safety rules, not playing with them, how to handle the pair of scissors, putting it down even when they're talking or playing, and the rest. And then these others were from uh, supermarkets, uh, but the main ones that I came across, which I got at a bargain, are the small ones. So that's one tip that I'll get, uh, I'd like to pass on to you. You'd rather invest its quality and it's worth your money. Then we, when it comes to storage of uh, crayons, 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 even though a crayon breaks, it can still be used. So what I've learned is put them into a container, get them from the pack and then have them in a container. This is where you can uh, recycle recycle your the, the containers that you come across so you can help in recycling in this case i believe this was for breadcrumbs so i even though the, the crayon breaks it's still usable and you have them all contain one and once a child finishes their craft or their activity encourage them to pack it away it helps them in taking responsibility in cleaning up then something I've always been seeing on uh, videos, most likely from uh, abroad or from the U.S., would be these caddies. I came across them uh, at Tuskies. It's these Tuskies. Um, it should be the one behind uh, Kenya National Archives, number nine, where they, I believe it was uh, Isli. But along, yeah, Tuskies. I, I don't know. It's, I think it's Imara, Tuskies Imara. So it was, I think, uh, it's... I, if I can round it up, it was around 400 shillings. So I bought these two. And why I like them is you can use them for different reasons, whether it's at home, uh, pardon the perspective. So you can use them for, if it can be for dishes, it can be for laundry, it can be anything. But for me, when I saw them, the main thing that I saw was this. It could be for activity. So here I have my notebooks. I have uh, oh, children's notebooks that they'll be using to write the difficult words. When they read, they come across it and they get the definition. I kindly try and have a dictionary, a tangible dictionary. Yes, we have mobile phone dictionaries and the rest. But let them know how to look for a difficult word. And then we have this plain paper where we can have either for crafts or them doodling and the rest. And then you have at the back, it's, it's up to you to to use uh to decide what you're going to use it for so in this case i had put extra extra crayons nowadays another thing about it is uh you if you would like to start off it nowadays the quality varies so i would suggest if you get different i know these are the same i uh the others are in um, a compartment uh elsewhere but get different uh, brand names and see which one works best for your child or and then you see what what is the price tag and can you afford it so in this case i have there the pencils some sharpened some not so you will have this and then the painting another tip um is it yes another tip another suggestion life hack as i mentioned about where i got the um, the the pair of scissors at a at a bargain was at Capricorn, stationers along Du Bois Stroke, Du Bois Road. 
uh, near river road or along river road uh, so in this case these are paint palettes oopsie reflection mm -hmm. there we go so it, because it still has its plastic uh, covering so i got this at uh, 80 shillings 80 shillings and for a child who is beginning uh or who is learning how to paint you go cheap and then when once they get is when you can maximize on the pelican and the different brand names so in this case though um because i've been buying there for some time they gave it to me at 80 shillings um it could be roughly 100 but even though it's at 100 shillings it will be 20 bob it will be 50 bob less than in the supermarkets so i have learned not to buy the painting palettes uh within supermarkets but mainly to get them from from capricorn or i do my shopping like i do my <coughs> excuse me window shopping prior to purchasing so those are just a, a few tips um that i come across and i believe if if you take one or two tips, kindly let me know which one works for you or which areas that you'd like me uh, any information on. And I'll be here for you anytime. And thank you for watching and thank you for the new subscribers. And I hope to be consistent with this. Uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.